My name is Michael Lack. I'm from Jonesboro, Arkansas, Northeast Arkansas Fly Fishers, and I'm going to be tying a Gart Side Sparrow. It's an old fly that's been around for about 30 years, and it works really well on these waters. And basically, we're using a uh, streamer hook, size 10. Uh, I use a, uh, a cone to help give it a little bit of weight. The feathers come primarily from a pheasant skin, and I'm using the marabou from the tail of the uh, pheasant and I'm using the iridescent hackle for the uh, spay hackle for the uh, front of the fly. It's a very easy fly to tie and it works very well. I'm using 8 ounce thread and just laying down a thread base to the back of the hook. The tail consists of marabou from the base of the uh, pheasant skin, and you want the tail to be about a third of the length of the shank of the hook. Not quite as long as a woolly booger tail. Oh yeah, I've done it twice so far. Really? Oh, I know why. Because you weren't on my contacts list and couldn't get through. Tie down the ends. I need to email you first. And then, and then, uh, you don't have to be real neat with this fly. The body is dubbing. You can use any color you like. I'm going to use a green dubbing today. And you make a dubbing noodle onto your thread. And wind the body. No, uh, Dave Whitlock did it like this, and rather than twist it around, each time you go around it makes a half loop turn, and it makes a fairly tight, yeah. easy, quick body. And I just watched him do it and tried to practice and, and, and get it uh, to do the same thing, and lo and behold, it works very well. Because I sometimes break my thread, I always tie my thread off just as a security measure. The, the hackle that I'm using is from the back of the uh, pheasant also. Yeah. And the key is to prepare your hackle before you try to tie it in. It has a dull side and it has a shiny side, and it folds much better if you put the dull side on top. Pull out the hackle that I think, that, as much as I think I need, tie it in on the top. And now we spin the hackle around the fly. The hackle's folded back. See how nicely that folded? And then you just bring it around. Keep it folded back. One in front of the other. And tie it off. This particular fly you do, on a soft hackle you wouldn't, but in this particular fly you do. It should come just to the back of the, uh, of the, uh, and there it is. And if you get it splayed out right, it looks just like that.
Okay, my version of the uh, Garside Sparrow.